can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday. I was super busy with finals. I finally got some pretty decent rest. I got one more final tomorrow, so I will have to get home kind of sooner than usual to study and make sure that's out of the way. Then once that final's out of the way, it's grind season, boys, all of December. Anyway, so the 128 is sitting right there looking all pretty. It's going to be meeting up with another two one series today. My boy got a one series and my other boy got a one series and he's visiting from Texas. So hopefully we can see them both today, put them all together, check them all out. There's actually 135. But mine's just gonna have a quad tip. This might be controversial. Anyways, let's go get that done. But we also need to get some parts for my brother's car. So my brother's gonna be coming with me. We're gonna pick up some new tools. We're gonna be hopefully getting uh, his A pillar, his radiator support, maybe a fender. And uh, we'll see. If you guys have any bumpers, fenders, uh, anything like that, even a hood for the E92, parting it out, we need black. We just wanna, we want like OEM colors and we don't wanna do any aftermarket paint. So if you guys can see that, let us know. We'll purchase it off you. Thank you. So I'd just like to give a special shout out to everyone who's purchased a decal since the last time I uploaded. So Peter Van Diggling, shout out to you, my dude. I'm Rock El Celano. I'm probably gonna get slapped for that one. I'm sorry, that, that is really hard for me to pronounce. But shout out to you as well. Shout out to Matthew Mahone, Jordan Hernandez, shout out to you as well. And the last one is Rafael Medina. Shout out to all you guys for purchasing a decal to support the channel. If you guys wanna cop one, be shout out in the next video. Check them out down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head down to the exhaust shop. Hopefully we can get this, uh, we can get these quad tips on and hopefully we can start getting some parts for the E92. Dropping off the decals and we'll head now. Alright guys, unfortunately, we just came here. Um, I love these guys. They're the first people that ever done all my muffin deletes. They are also supposedly the people that messed up my 335, but um, they done me right. They gave me, you know, free service. They helped me out to make it up to me, and I still don't know if it was even them. So, um, regardless, they are good people. I love them. I love doing all my muffin deletes done here because I never had an exhaust leak that, like ever from here. I never had any issues with any of my setups. I never had the exhaust cricket. It was always perfect work. So that's why I always come back here. I believe it's specialized exo uh, exhaust, I think. Specialized exhaust. Anywho, um, so yeah, unfortunately, they said they couldn't do it today, but since they couldn't, like, the past like week or two that I've been coming in, um, they're also hooking it up with a slightly better price for me. So that's good. At least I save a little bit of money. Uh, meantime, let's go get some parts for my brother's car. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. M18, how much is it? 100 bucks, yep, this is the one. We're gonna get this too, we're only 25 bucks, not bad. Alrighty. Guys, I'm actually super excited for this. Not even the thing we came for, but 25 bucks. Like, this is so cool. I love organization, this is so badass. Then we also got the tool that we need, so if we can get this A pillar today, I'm hyped for it. Lucky my brother opened up the, the Sawzall. Apparently it doesn't come with the battery. So oh. let's go get some batteries real quick. I think it's the last thing we're gonna need. I right, guess so we came in to see how much each battery costs. Each battery is $30. The charger itself is $100. So if you need a battery and a charge is $130 and we paid already $100 for this guy. So we're already at $230. Bucks. This whole deal right here is $200 on sale. And I get two new guns as well. So And it's cheaper and it comes with the bag. Let's go ahead and just get this guy. This is sick. Okay. Dude, come on, we get some Milwaukee's up here. It's sick, dude. Hey, dude, literally everything I need to just start out as a battery, two batteries, charger and a bag. Ooh, the flex stuff. Imagine the bag, you're just carrying a Milwaukee, bro. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go ahead and return that other one now. I'm not trying to have two sozzles. We just got some new tools. Um, we went ahead and also are heading down to pick up some parts for brother's car. So we're picking up the radiator support, picking up the A pillar. We're gonna hopefully try to cut it off. We picked up the tools for it. If they're not gonna do it, we're doing it. Fleet, he's at the shop. Hopefully, get some good parts today. And uh, let's catch you guys there. Let's check that X6M. Damn. <laughs> That is so baller. Oh my lord. I think we can park right here, right? Everyone's parking right here. All right, guys. That E92 has seen better days. This one's the one we're here for. So we came here. We asked him for this fender and the radiator support. It turns out he doesn't have the radiator support or the fender. Um, it's like always fails, dude. Like, what's going on? And then, yeah, but he has that fender, which we don't need. So um, this kind of sucks. So we just went in there, and everything my brother asked for, he asked for the radiator support, the fender, that pillar, and everything. 
and he says we have it all come pick it up he said 100 bucks for the off uh, for the radiator support like how are you gonna give us prices for everything and not even have any of those parts so they didn't even check when we called them like three or four times which is really annoying so anyways now we're gonna go try to find another place that has all these parts like i couldn't get the buffalo delete done and we couldn't do these things either so hopefully we can at least try to find something we can do today i want to try to get some of the work done on the e92 and if anything we can probably try to get some work done on this car even drop it off at the shop we'll figure out what we'll be doing today we did find another shop hopefully they have the parts that we need so let's just head down there right now I don't even have my jacket, so I'm gonna go ahead and run to the car and start moving all the things. Oh, never mind. All right, guys, my brother happens to screw me over again. I am soaked. It is my fault. I should have wore a jacket. But, um, guys, we asked for the radiator support. They gave us the whole front clip. I don't even know what to say. So basically, we paid 150 bucks for the entire front clip from like literally every single piece we needed for my brother's car. We have it now, which is absolutely insane. 150 bucks for the whole. Guys, check it out, the whole front clip. So the only thing missing now is still that metal piece. They cut it a little too short. You guys can see like right there. They cut it a little bit too damn short. We are heading over to the shop right now and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. How you doing, brother? Amazing. Chipotle! Chipotle is my line! Oh my god, I love Chipotle! Chipotle is my line! Let's get some food! Oh, let's head to the shop. Finally all full. Super excited for the new tools. It is raining, gotta cover you guys. I got y'all, don't worry. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I saw it. Shoo! Check it out. That's Jonathan's car, y'all. Oh my lord, that is sick. Damn, Johnny. Johnny McJohn, it's looking clean, dude. 128, 135. I like my bumper better, but he's got a better car in general. <laughs> oh man. Guys, Zavon's car is finally back from being re-rendered twice in the last year. <laughs> oh my lord, how is she? Dang. LCI tail lights. He's got this new carbon fiber truck, which looks so sick. The wheels, again, I love these wheels. Apparently you guys uh, told me that these aren't the same wheels that I have on my car. I mean, on my brother's car. Oh, these are actual M3 wheels. Yeah. Oh, these are M Sport. Okay, I like them both to be honest guys, but yeah. this color too is still fire. Um, did you fix the wiring issues? Um, I did, yeah. You fixed the wiring? I so you got lights now? Hey! Finally, dude. Damn, I love the color too, my lord. Oh my lord, guys, it looks so good. Oh, it's actually a big difference in my car. It's so nice. All right guys, I'm opening up my new tools, putting it in my new Milwaukee bed. I'm so hyped, this is so sick. All right, guys, so we went in there just for the radiator support. That's what we were expecting to pay $150 for. And then it had the side two pieces, which my brother threw away. Um, it came with all that extra stuff. So first off, it goes with the radiator, the fan, um, which I don't know if you guys know, but this radiator is the solar radiator with the sensor. This one sells for like $300, so already scored right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep that stuff just in case. 
Ours is messed up. I think ours is fine, but just in case, now we have all that stuff. Ours, this one is slightly cracked. This one is slightly cracked, so we just got those. This one's slightly bent on ours, and this one is like ripped on the bottom here. So now we have like all these parts for free, basically, which is such a come up, which is super dope. And then this is the secondary air pump, which we don't need. So if you guys need a secondary air pump, hit me up. This is yours for free. I, I don't, I just don't want it. So if you guys want it, hit me up. But anyways, guys, that is awesome. Now we just need the front. I think you call it an A pillar. So we just need this front part. We're just gonna cut it from back here. I picked up a new tool that will actually allow us to do it at a pick and pull, because obviously we won't be able to connect it anywhere. So I've got a new wireless tool. It should be able to cut that off another car, bring it to the frame shop with the new radiator support and have this stuff realigned perfectly, rewelded. You guys said to first pull it out, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We can't take anything off today, but that's fine. But anyway, so the topic of this video, we're gonna be sitting down and I wanna drive Jonathan's car heavily. So Jonathan just got his 135. He's always wanted a twin turbo. He's always wanted a 335. He's always wanted a 135, oh but God, it was just dude. out of your price range, right? Yeah. It's just, it's too expensive here and it's kind of hard to find. And then he got one that's actually M Sport too, not even like a base Full model. M Sport. Full M Sport. Black roof everything pa like Literally paddle like the steering wheels m as well it has the whole body kit and this is black i really love the color dude Bro, it's, it's so, so sick so anyways let's go ahead and answer to m brakes has m brakes Brake that's power more power. it's worth more than like most of the car <laughs> it's insane i think you got it for four thousand right four thousand clean texas. title in texas he actually flew out 1600 miles he flew out there to texas to pick up the car and then he drove it back clean title yeah, right? It's no, crazy. M Sport, bro. M Sport 135. That's man. why he flew out to Texas. Anyways, so yeah, I got my baby right there. The only plus side about it is the mileage and the fact that it's red interior. His, everything else is, you know, pretty much better. But anyways, check it out. Jonathan cleaned it up for you guys as well. Jonathan brought his car inside for you guys. Because, you know, he's got to flex a little bit. You know, there's no shame in that. He's, he had a 328 for a long time. Dude, dude this oh looks God. mint. I took like an hour cleaning this. Oh like my god. Stuff. This Sounds feels like a clean good. title, bro. This it feels does. so nice. This is like. Damn, it even has a charge pipe. Congrats to jo Dang, bro. That's man. Look at that engine, baby. Look at the difference. <laughs> so, buy this car. Don't buy this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to clean this even. Huh? Gonna Dude, that's got to get cleaned up. That actually looks so good. And guys, the side markers are the only thing that I'm gonna tell him to, like he needs to get rid of. ASAP, only thing. Um, something that I wish about these cars, the same in the E90s, they have this orange marker that's like built into the car. Yeah. On this car, it blinks orange if you let it, but it doesn't actually have any uh, orange you know, pieces I know. there. That's the only part that sucks. He might. I know the tail lights, you have to get them. Dude, those things are fire. Anyways, yeah, so M Sport, guys. This thing also has the big brake kit, which looks super sick. I love how she says BMW. I never had any E chassis with these brakes ever. So that's super sick. I know Devon's rocking them. Uh, I think he, I think Devon's actually rocking M3 calipers. I don't know what happened. Previous owner hooked it up, kind of. I mean, either. Anyways, <laughs> dude, Jonathan, I forgot. What you can have burble tune on this. I know, dude. You know how sick that's gonna be. Oh my this god. Be Check it Look at out. Look at CIC too. CIC now. This, this is a 2010. 2010. This car is so amazing. Yeah, for the price I got. Him. Honestly, I cannot. This is like dream spec, dudes. Like this has literally almost everything I want. Plus the like the nav is so hard to get. I know. Does Devon dude. have that? I mean, not Devon. Uh, Devon Erlon. He doesn't have yeah, it, right? It's anyways, anyways, let's get in here. Let's get in here. Uh, I think that. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, but it's losing traction. Losing traction. Dang. Ah, the good old. The good old F54 smell. <laughs> <This smell? Yeah. laughs> I miss that smell. Oh man, good time. <laughs> the good old F54 smell. Oh, the smell. <laughs> All right, so I just told Jonathan if I could do a little donut. He's like, I'm not trying to get my car impounded. So. <laughs> That's good. It's good. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just give it a quick little rip. Oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> All right. It loses traction so easily. It's so light for an N54. Dude, it's so light. Okay. <laughs> you guys know I'm a 435, right? When, I'm not quitting on N54, all right? I love it's the N55, so nice, but I'm not quitting on the N54. I will be getting another N54 that I will be turning into a drift car one day. You just have to give me some time. I'm still waiting on fixing both my cars completely and then getting the 435 <laughs> a little bit more ready. And then uh, after that, uh, we're, we're gonna be getting the giveaway car. So who knows, that might be an N54. We'll Ooh. see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see Depending we on what deal I could get for you guys, that'll be the giveaway car. And then after that, it's gonna be an N54, guys. It's gonna be oh, sick. It's gonna baby. Be sick. Back at the garage. Sorry about that. Camera died. I just wanna let you guys know that your man finally carries a purse. Flex. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't flex like that. I'm just, I'm just, you know, doing my thing. What's going on, bro? You're good. 
<laughs> I'm just super hyped to have some nice tools. All my stuff is normally super janky. So you know your boy finally got some pretty decent tools. Anyways, before we end this video, we'd like to just go face Jonathan over there and be like, Nice ride. <laughs> because it's so sick, I can't believe he actually got it. It's been a car he's been talking about for a very long time, but we didn't think he'll actually be able to get it anytime soon. But he decided to take the executive decision and fly to another state to buy it and then drive it back, which is completely, he literally came out of nowhere. He's like, dude, I'm going to Texas. I'm like, yeah, that's funny. And he's like, I'm going to Texas. I'm like, bro, I got finals. Like, I can't go. He's like, I'm going. I'm like, all right, shoot, go for it. So he goes. And then he picks up the car with uh, Erlon. I don't know if you guys remember Erlon. That's him right there. So yeah, basically a good friend of ours. He ended up moving to Texas to do some other things. Just trying out the BMW gig down there. Hopefully one day he'll move back over here, work together as well. He's extremely talented on working on these cars. And uh, let's just say they got, they pretty much picked up the car. They fixed it pretty much just within the same day and got it here. They drove it 1,600 miles the next day. Like that's an insane risk. Like when you got the car, it wasn't even driving, right? It was well, was it was off, like it, you couldn't turn yeah, it Yeah, like it, the lady was selling it to him as a car that doesn't even turn on. If you guys wanna actually check out the, his video on that, his video is gonna be linked down below. Jonathan has a complete video on him actually picking it up and everything. So anyways guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to cop a decal to support the channel. Any guys' names will be shouted out in the next video. And without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.